Okay, it's been about a couple weeks since WrestleMania, because now it's time for Backlash. Now, normally Backlash is a pretty strong pay-per-view, because it comes right off WrestleMania, and you get to see a lot of matches. You kind of saw it, Mania. So it's kind of like... It's kind of like the sequel to Mania. They should be pretty quick, because we've got matches that we've already more or less discussed before. They have Santina on Kali Kiss Cam. You know... Uh, rip the wig off of him, have it be revealed as Santino, or have them dress someone up like Santino, have that person pray like a woman and kiss Kali. Either way, it'll be it'll be humorous, it'll be great, it'll be all over YouTube later on that night. CM Punk versus Kane. I know this is kind of boiling out of the fact that, you know, it came out of CM Punk and Kane and Money in the Bank. I almost look for Punk to win this because Kane doesn't need to win to still get a decent reaction from the crowd. Jericho versus Steamboat. Again, this is a match pretty much that we saw at Mania. Now, Steamboat has been very impressive, but he's only been in tag matches. He hasn't been in a one-on-one -on -one match since, you know, he's come back. I'm looking for I'm always looking for Steamboat to win this one. You know, he's been on he's he's been on a pretty decent roller as about now, and uh you know, I can see him giving it to Steamboat more than I could see them giving it to Jericho. Just to kind of shut Jericho up a little bit, but they're pushing Jericho as like a major heel for SmackDown. If you saw the match with him and Cena, it was fantastic. So I could almost see, you know, yeah, you know, I'll go, I'll go Jericho. Okay, Hardy versus Hardy, I quit match. You know, Jeff Hardy hasn't resigned the contract recently. So he's kind of on that near expiration time, which my man's just been whooping the crap out of him. If he signs a contract between now and Sunday, <clears throat> I see him going over. If not, I see Matt more or less dominating his brother again. Getting done pretty quick. Jack Thwagger versus Christian. Uh, I don't see them putting a title on Christian. I don't. I think he's still enough in the doghouse. And I think they see a decent future in Swagger, so I'll go with Swagger. <coughs> okay, here we go. H. Batista, Shane versus Legacy. We've had this match before, but it was H., Shane, and Vince versus, I want to say, Rock, Taker, and Austin. That's where we saw uh, Shane, I think Shane, do his first leap of faith. That's the off-the-top rope elbow to a guy on the table. I really could see Orton winning this. I really could. I could see I could see Orton actually winning this one. It would be neat to see Orton pin Shane and then have Shane join Legacy because he's second generation. Yeah, you know, I almost could see you know Orton winning this. But at the same time, H has just been on a tear. You know, Again, I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna with H. <clears throat> I'm gonna with H. So that way, then next month <clears throat> they can finish it in my hometown of Chicago in some sort of bizarre over the top match. And now here we are in the, the ma last match: Cena Edge last man standing. You know, Cena has been in a couple last man standings, and he's won both of them. I think he's been in two. I know of at least one to be certain in Mahaka. Now, do I see them giving the belt to Edge to have the belt on SmackDown? I can see that. But do I see them having to beat John Cena in the last man standing match? Not as much. So I'm looking for John Cena to retain it again. You know, it doesn't make sense to have somebody win it one pay-per-view and then drop it less than a month later. If it makes sense to do it to Hardy, I think it's going to do it to John Cena. Because, you know, Cena and Edge hot potato the title for the better part of a year. Now, caveat, depending on how the CM Punk Kane match goes, it would have been interesting to have seen either Orton or Edge win, and then Punk beat them for the title. I think it's going to happen. Probably not. So, but again, maybe Austin were to have it. Wrote this real quick. I don't picture any titles changing hands. Matt Hardy went in, Jericho, Punk went in, and then 
Either Santino's gonna get kissed by Kali, the Punjabi Playboy, or uh, they'll dress somebody up and it'll look nothing like Santino. Santino will come out with her, and it'll be pretty sweet. So uh, that is about all we're looking at for this one, and. Uh,